welcome to the channel today. Uh, Night Owl back here with another project for you. Today we are going to be working on doing a real life expo. Uh, so you can see my plans here. That's all we need and we're going to make it. And we're gonna make it, so it's not gonna be too big of a deal. Now, in order to move things along, I've already uh, pre-glued <laughs> this contraption here. <laughs> anyway, basically the only thing that did was glue some thicker wood, so we had some thicker wood to deal with because I didn't wanna buy thicker wood. Anyway, we'll get right to that. Now, there's basic uh, three parts of the expo, the base, um, uh, the main expo, and then the uh, trying to make it shoot part, of course. So, um, and then paint. So four parts, my bad. Anyway, we're gonna get right to, we're gonna start making the main part first out of this little contraption, and then we're gonna go move on to the base. So I'll try and explain things the best I can as we go along, and if I miss anything, I hope I don't, then, well, whatever, I won't, okay? So that's all there is to it. So first off, I'm gonna go ahead and take these clamps off, and then we're gonna start cutting away on the main part of the expo. Okay, so from that huge mass of wood, we basically, we've cut the main part of the crossbow, which is kind of like the silver part if you look at it um, in game. And then we cut the bottom part too. What's well, actually gonna be the solid wood part that goes under the crossbow. It's kind of hard to see uh, the vision right now, but you'll see it in a second. And I left these pieces a little long because I'm not exactly sure how long I want to make it. Um, unfortunately, in game, is a little bit different than real life. You know, actually making it work versus in theory making it work on a game is a little bit different. So I, I might have to make it a little bit longer. So the next part that we'll do here is we're going to actually take this and we're going to go ahead and we're going to route out the center here, basically where the arrow sits. And then we'll um, <clears throat> start route, uh, basically routing the sides of it so it makes it look nice and smooth on the sides of it and makes it look nice and pretty. So let's get to that. Okay, now that we got the main base of the crossbow done, uh, we are gonna start working on the base. So the base consists of a couple different parts. Obviously the pole, we're just gonna get a pole. Okay, and so <laughs> the biggest part of the, the base is that gear looking thing. It's round, and so we have to cut a round piece of wood, and so I'm gonna show you how to do that here on the router in a second, and then we just have to cut the base, and then those four little things that hold up the base. And so it's pretty, pretty simple, pretty straightforward, but I'm just gonna show you on camera and kinda talk you through it while I do it. All right, so the gear is the hardest part of what's gonna be on this crossbow. So basically we need to cut a circle and then we'll cut out the spokes of the gear. And so in order to do that, you basically gotta cut like one of these. So I'm gonna show you how to do that 
on the router. Um, they have hole saws big enough, but I don't have one, so we're gonna do it on the router. So basically, to start, you're gonna put a little hole in a square piece of wood, and then down here, hold on. Down here on the router table, I basically put another hole. So basically, we're gonna nail this, we drilled this hole in this piece of wood, and we're gonna put that right in there. So it goes in there, and then we're gonna nail that down here on the router table. And then basically, I'm just gonna turn it. So that basically just cuts a circle on this router bed. And so we can't do it all at once. And so what we're gonna have to do is uh, raise the router bit as we do it. So it should be pretty simple here, pretty straightforward. So let me lower that and we'll get to it. And voila, there's a circle. So now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna bevel the circle because the gear is beveled.
So once you have your circle cut and beveled, then you're just gonna print off a gear off the internet that's the exact same uh, diameter of the circle. And then we're just gonna put little marks where I put these little holes on this gear. Just so we can kinda get things oriented to drill some holes in a second. So now that you have those marks drilled in the right spot, all we're gonna do is we're gonna take a drill and then we're gonna try and drill some holes here. So now we have most of the pieces cut. We have the gear, which is sweet. We have the main body of the crossbow cut. Boom, boom, and then it's routed out as well. That looks sweet. We have the base cut with its nice angles that we cut on the table saw. And then we have the feet cut already for the base. So now what we need to do is we need to cut um, little corners out of this base so that we can put these feet on here in a second just like that they'll go on can't know if you tell they'll go on basically like right there and so we're going to cut basically um, straight lines out of it and so basically <clears throat> I've marked the bottom of this where I'm going to cut these corners out and then we'll cut that with the jigsaw and then also we need to cut um, some small uh, circles so I have a little circle template that I made ha <laughs> sweet one is for the base of the crossbow and the other one is actually for the gear that goes on the back of the crossbow that actually is going to allow the crossbow to shoot so we're going to make a little gear out of it I don't know if you can see the little lines probably not but basically we'll cut a little gear and then that thing is going to spin on the back nice and cool and it's going to be able to shoot the arrow so I'm just going to get to cutting that stuff uh, with the jigsaw because that's going to be the easiest.
we got most of the pieces cut for the whole thing. The only thing that we need to cut out now is the uh, crossbow parts. Uh, right here, baby, right here. So I've actually printed off something to the scale that I actually want it. So I'm actually just gonna cut this bad, oh it's beautiful, it's black and white. I'm gonna cut that out and then trace on there and then cut it out with the jigsaw, all in one quick motion. 